In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to submit a project for review in the C Sharp Academy. We are using this system for two reasons. First, it makes it much easier for the C Sharp Academy team to review the code since they can comment directly on the repository. We're not allowed to make comments in someone else's repository, so it makes the code reviews way faster. Also, it's a way for the members of the C Sharp Academy to get acquainted to creating pull requests with GitHub. And this knowledge will transfer to other source control solutions such as Bitbucket. And that's something that you want to learn right now and not after you get your first job. I got in trouble many times for not knowing how to deal with source control when I got my first job. So here I'm quickly creating a new project and this is just for the example. I'm not going to write anything in this project. I'll say finished in this string that we're passing to the console.write line. And the next step will be to log into GitHub and then find the code review repository in the C Sharp Academy. And you can find the links to all of our repositories in the show notes below. I'm using the math game repository as an example. Once you're there, you need to click on fork and then create fork. So that's going to be a copy of the C Sharp Academy's repository in your own GitHub account. That's it. So now we are in our own fork and here you click on code and copy the name of the repository. Then you will open the command line and navigate to a folder of your choice. And I'll choose the same folder where I created the project, but that's not necessary. It's up to you. And there you're going to use the command git clone and the name of the repository. And you're going to see a few messages related to the download of this repository. Now we need to go to the file explorer and navigate to the folder where your project is. And you're going to drag and drop your project into the repository, into the fork repository. Then you need to open Visual Studio again. And if it's already open with your project, you need to close it. So open again. And this time you're going to choose open a local folder. And you're going to choose the folder where the repository was created. So now you can see the parent folder with all the students projects. So you're not opening your own projects folder. You're opening the parent folder where your project will live. And then we need to commit our changes. So these changes will be the changes related to your project. So anything that's new that's coming from your project is going into the repository. So I'm choosing a message, which is mandatory. And then you need to click on push which will take those changes to your fork in your GitHub. So if you go back to GitHub on your forks repository, you can see that it says that this branch is one commit ahead of the C Sharp Academy's repository. So your branch is ahead of my branch in the C Sharp Academy. And if you click on that commit, you can see all the changes related to it. And then you can click on create pull request. You can leave a comment if you want, but then hit the create pull request button. Now you're going to grab the link to that pull request and in the C Sharp Academy's dashboard or in the project page, when you submit that project, that's the link that you're going to use. If you don't use that link, if it's an incorrect link, you're going to get an error message. So you always need to be a pull request into the C Sharp Academy's GitHub. Now, after your code gets reviewed, all you need to do is to commit your changes again. So let's see how we're going to do that. You need to reopen your project. This time, not the folder, but your own project using Visual Studio. And then I'll make a modification. Let's say I got my code reviewed and I fixed it. So I've modified it. 
And now I'll show a different way of committing these changes. I'm going to use the command line. And you could still use the Visual Studio way, but I'm going to use the command line. So you need to navigate into the parent folder where the forks repository lives. Then you need to use the command git add and period and git commit minus m and a message in between quotes and then git push. Once that's done, you can go back to GitHub and if you click on the pull request again, which you can find in this pull requests tab, you can check if your changes were submitted and we can see that there is a second commit, errors fixed. And if you click on that commit, you're going to see your changes in the second commit. So you don't need to create another pull request. All you need to do is modify, commit and push the code and I'll be able to review it again. It sounds like a lot of steps, but if you do it a couple of times, you'll get used to it. And before you know it, it will be a no brainer. Feel free to ask any questions in our Discord community if you need help. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.